Hey guys, I'm Will. And I'm Lauren. And today, we're gonna to be talking about branded content and how it can help your channel. And the secret is that brands really wanna work with you. Exactly, yeah. You have your audience's attention for a reason, and brands really wanna work with that. For me, branded content is about working with a brand to create something that's already right in my wheelhouse. For a lot of creators, this is their full-time job. So it offers a way to have that extra security knowing that you will be able to hit those bills this month. It really depends on uh, the brand and what they're asking from you, uh, where you are from like beginning to end, you are making something that is tailored towards the brand. There are different types of integrations and uh, sponsorships, right? So I would typically separate it into kind of like a shout out short integration or like a dedicated video. There are the typical, like at the beginning of the video. This video is sponsored by Classic Specs and uh, it is time for your homeboy to try on some new glasses. You hit a couple of talking points that the brand has outlined. The try on at home mm -hmm. uh, kit is free. So they free this, returns, yeah. free shipping. But then there are others that are maybe a little bit more involved. Maybe it's uh, some kind of food recipe that you have to prepare. And then that's a lot of work too, because that's a setup, that's cooking, that's fire. <laughs> so. And I do DIY craft tutorials sometimes. Right. And I also do more topical video blogs where I have a discussion about a specific topic. And so sometimes brands will approach me to make a craft using one of their supplies. And that's such a natural integration because that's something I would be doing anyway without their help. I made a craft tutorial with Sci-Fi Channel. It's a holiday Stranger Things scarf. Sometimes they will send me an idea for a topic that I can have a discussion about and I really like those because it doesn't just stop with me. I usually end those videos with a question and then the audience can have their input on the oh, topic nice. that I talk yeah. about. It has to be natural. Yeah, exactly. If my audience knows that I'm just reading off of a script that a brand handed me. Pick up on it. Exactly. Yeah. But if I'm using a product and I'm enjoying using the product and I am reacting to it in a like authentic, authentic way, yeah. then people are gonna automatically want to go out and buy that thing. I don't have to say go out and buy the thing. How big were you when you first did your first sponsored content? I think I maybe had 7,000 subscribers. Wow. I have about 10 times as many now. Yeah. And so it's definitely not something that you need to wait until you're super huge of to course. do. In some ways, I feel like it's almost more valuable for those smaller creators to be representing brands because people listen to smaller creators maybe yes. even a little bit more. Exactly, but there's like there's the niche that is surrounding a channel. It almost feels like uh, the audience is part of some kind of exclusive club. And that's what brands should be excited about. They should be excited about engaging with that authentic excitement. I think initially I was a little bit afraid to do a sponsorship because I wasn't sure if my audience would react badly. Mm -hmm. I was nervous somebody would call me a sellout. Right. You have to be super upfront with those disclosures. I think it creates the idea with your audience that this is a brand that's supporting me. I want to let you guys know that they're supporting me. I'm happy to support them on my channel and everyone's happy. Part of being able to do that has a lot to do with whether or not a brand really fits well with you. If it's something that you love already or something that you maybe were excited to find out about, it could be a better situation for your audience as well because they can even benefit from it. They get excited for me when I get sponsorships now because they know that it will get me a little bit farther and I can make them a little bit more content. The value that I can bring to my audience, for example, if I do a deal and I have a special promo code or a coupon code, it makes me more excited about doing the branded deal because it's something that they could have gotten anywhere else. Another part of doing branded content is obviously the money. It's all about partnership. It's about me creating content that an audience is excited about and a brand realizing that rather than, hey, you have the numbers, let's change what you do to create an advertisement for our app or something. I do think that you end up creating something better in the long run if the brand is willing to negotiate with you over mm -hmm. what the content is. Right. Allow me to be who I am because that's why people are watching me. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Creator Academy channel. And check out part two where we discuss how to find and land brand deals.